All right, let's move them. Okay, I'm ready, Dave. All right. One, two. One left. One, one, one. All right, I'm going to open fire. All right, shoot. <laughs> All righty. My three guns. Actually, the partial broadside. And that's three away in a rake. Zero. Initial broadside. Okay, crew. There's plus one. And initial broadside and the table two. I'm shooting at your hull. All right, shoot him. One, a gun hit. All right, you mark off one of these. Yeah, suckers. marked it off. All right. Hey guys, Dave and Len here. We're doing a review of Wooden Ships and Iron Men from Avalon Hill. I've actually owned two copies of this and never got a chance to tr uh, try the game until today. We, we tried Len's copy of it. Uh, I, I like it. I, I can see why it's got such a good reputation. The only thing is, uh, the way the winds work and stuff might give you some trouble the first few times you play it, but uh, if you study the rules a little bit, I'm sure you can get it down. But it, it's a lot of fun. And a naval game that I really like called Ram Speed from Metagaming, uh, this game kind of, that came after Wooden Ships and Iron Men, so it kind of feels a little bit like Probably the author of uh, Ram Speed probably used to play this game or something, and he was uh, influenced by it. But overall, I, I think it's good. What do you think, Len? Well, I've played this so many times, and truthfully, I got used to... Um, it's actually, we considered it its successor, Close Action by Clash of Arms, mm -hmm. which has many improvements. And at times while I'm do it, playing with you, i got to remember, wait, uh, I had to review this. Uh, to remember, okay, how was it, you know, close action, we did a few things differently. So it's like i got to remember this is wooden ships, not close action. Mm. So, uh, uh, well, you saw that uh, one of the things is that in simultaneous movement, sometimes you can do something unpredictable and mm. bad things happen. Right, yeah, you can never predict what direction your opponent's going to turn and stuff, so you just kind of guess which way he's going to go, and if you get lucky, you were right. Yeah, uh, some people like this because of that, this big guessing game. Others, it's like, well, you know, you do see what the other guy's doing. You can react, and mm -hmm. but uh, uh, it depends on, you know, uh, one thing about wooden ships, uh, when it comes to single ship action and the small ship, well, you know, if you have more three, four ships aside, it's great fun. Mm -hmm. You can handle it, but... Uh, the fleet actions get very intense, very bogged down. So Yeah, it's got a good selection of scenarios, too. We played three of the scenarios today, and it didn't take long at all. I mean, it took, like, less than two hours to do three scenarios, yeah. which is uh, uh, pretty quick. Yeah, the first one was Bohom Richard versus Serapis. John Paul Jones outsmarts him and gets, <laughs> a, <laughs> gets behind him and uh, blows up all the merchant ships. <laughs> The other was the uh, Constellation versus the uh, French in Intrepid. This was the Quasi-War one, and um, I ended up having, well, I came one hull hex from striking. In real life, they had to strike. It actually had a bigger ship and uh, more guns. And then we had the Wasp versus Reindeer, which are like uh, two barks filled with carronades. And... Uh, the feature of that one was that since we only range of two, at many times, you know, if we had a cannon, we would have been in range. But once you get in that 2x range, you you hit hard. Yeah. Yeah, that one was pretty close, too. I mean, uh, I, I won that one, but I only had one whole point left. Uh, his uh, hole struck, so. Yeah. Or he struck the flag, rather. That's right, so. Uh, but yeah, I definitely recommend it, and it's it's not that expensive either. You can usually uh, get it for a decent price if you look around uh, yeah. online. Because I was about uh, to use that is this hasn't been ma made in years. I, I was thinking about it'd be hard to get, but if you want to, you could. It's you'll enjoy playing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. All right, thanks guys. Uh, we won't have a review next week because. Uh, I have to go to a party, but however, the week afterwards, we're going to have a review of Victory in the Pacific.